We could work a bit on our heat sinking for uh, the griffin. So we could use him to jump and fire more. I don't know if that is the right thing to do though. Inspiration abilities in combat. Your mech warrior's morale transfers to, yep. But I think for now we are gonna get the uh, habitat beta or however it's called. So we can actually make use of the next medical facility. Oh! Oh no, I thought cutscene maybe. We've done it, Tang. Thanks to you efforts, the Restoration Army has broken the Director's hold on Pansier. Lord Pierre Louis Decime Decimus has already pledged his house and his system to my service. The Restoration is growing, just as we hoped it would. And with his support you gain territory, soldiers and bolstered supply chain. Not bad deal for you, Lady Arena. Arano. Or for House Decimus, the Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Pansy's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people there would starve. I am not my uncle, Darius. The restoration gives as much as it takes. That's commendable, Lady Arana, but it may not be suitable. It is like you have, have much choice. Letting them starve would be terrible PR. And your people will love you for it. That's not. That's for them to decide. Either way, I'll continue feeding them for as long as they need it. I meant what I said when, liber when liberated Veldri. Those, these people are my responsibility and it will help them no matter the cost. And I will help them no matter the cost. It's a victory to be, sh to be sure, but we, we're still a long way from Coromondier. And the director Espinoza has only just begun to... Marshal his forces. This, uh, this are going to get a lot more. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forward towards Smithen. The director's military cap capabilities appear to be way out of line with our initial estimates. Somehow, they've gained access to weapons and battle mechs that that are totally foreign to the Oregon Reach. Where do you think this hardware is coming from? House Espinosa has always had contacts in the inner sphere. Battle Mac is a prototype model that almost impossible to find outside of the Draconis Combine. But this radical new military buildup is something else uh, entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development and troubling. It's a re it's a recent development and a troubling one. Hey, Lord Madeira. I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something that here that you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see it. I found something strange on the Argos NAV computer. Uh, why don't I like the sound of that? I'm gonna need some clarification on that, Doctor. Is there anything on the ship that isn't strange? I uh, need some clarification on that. Well, <laughs> I appear to have stumbled onto an encrypted data archive somebody hid away in the Argo secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess. Mind you, Star League area encryption software isn't really my area of expertise. My father spent years trying to figure out how to get in, get the Argo back to Aurigan space in one piece. He was so obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now this, I want that archive open, Doctor Murat. I need to know. I need to know. I need to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arana, whatever is on the drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about lost tech treasures, treasure hunting to know that it is a bad idea. So why don't we just leave well enough alone? Because this archive could contain something of value. And because it's previously mentioned, I have personal connection with the ship. I believe that this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere and intend to follow it. It's a Star League area data archive. Of course we should try and open it. We shouldn't let this... Uh, we shouldn't let this distract us. Supersi superstition? 
isn't valid leadership strategy. Lady Arana is our client, Mary. If she wants to check this thing out, that's what we are gonna do. That's... That is what I want, yes. And thankfully we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against the Doctor at the same time. The liberation of Hyde's Karos on Samioth is already the Restoration's next objective, and Lord Samion Karos was my father's chief technolog technologist. Securing the help we'll, we need will cost us nothing that we weren't already planning to pay. Awesome. Uh, perhaps it's just coincidence, but I cannot help seeing the hand of fate at work here. Must have taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that's what I intend to do. Why don't you think this Lorcas will be able to open the archive? That's the plan then. After we liberate Sionis, we will have audience with Lord Koras. Sure. And shortly thereafter, we will see if my father's intuition about the Argo was justified. As before, I was contacted uh, you when. As before, I will contact you when we're ready to move on to Simoth. For now, I'll take my leave. Of you, I have nobles to plus placate and an army to relay. And you have your own contracts to pursue, I'm sure. Yes, we do, Lady Arano. We're keeping busy, just as you asked us to. You all heard her. We've got some time before the next leg of the Restoration Offensive. And our client wants us to make the most of the time. Uh, most of it. Time is money, so let's get back to work. <laughs> there are a lot of loading screens in this game, Scripta. Uh, surrounded the spaceport and found a checkpot commander. Ooh. I mean, Griffins lost uh, lots of them. They'll never get them working with the repair facility they've got. But between my team and Argos MacBay, I think we might... You can find them in the sh shop here on Pazir. Pansir. Okay. Continue. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Okay, we have another Centurion ready to go. This is an all ship it's time for a oh man. Yeah, my game is kind of freezing up right now. I probably need to to stop the stream rather soon-ish. And uh, restart my computer before I can continue. Because that's just... Uh, yeah. I clicked on it already twice or so. Yeah, there we go. Now it's all working again. Uh, store. Could buy a whole griffin. We don't need to, but we could. We could also sell a whole griffin. We don't need to, but we could. <laughs> uh, so that's good. So we go to the mech bait. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Nice to see you down here in the hole. So yeah, we have another centurion and they have another griffin ready to go. Uh, you need to be. Oof, you're in a horrible shape so yeah refit that one yeah look at that everybody's hurt everybody's hurt that's just not good uh yeah let's do that uh medium lasers and some jump jets ac5 armor is still good uh, okay uh do we have an srm6 ready to attach somewhere there we are there we have another SRM6, very nice. Uh, medium laser and two jump jets. We have a ton of medium lasers. Where did we put those? Uh, one is in the head here, awesome. And let's see if we can use some jump jets in the legs again. Which brings us up to the 55 ton configuration we had before. Which is okay, it will take 10 days to do that. Right, I'll get it in the schedule. Awesome. Uh, you lost the LRM 10. Uh, replace all, repair all, yeah. 
You also lost AC 10 ammo, okay. So you lost uh, LRM 10, that's the rocket stuff here. LRM 10 over here. LRM 10, LRM ammo. There is the LRM ammo. And another AC 10 ammo actually. And a heat sink. Sure, why the hell not, right? Yeah, I think that's good. Eight days. Log and note. And there is the other Griffin, which has. What did he lose? Actually, not a lot. Jump jet. That's about it. What he lost, right? Yeah, jump jet is all, all he actually lost. So. Ah, put it in the center torso. Well, no, put it over here. And actually put the ammo into the legs. Yeah, that's good. That will take three days to do. Awesome. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. I'll let you know when that's done. Uh, components. It's the wrong thing to look for. Storage. What kind of stuff we have in storage? Like just one part, one part, two parts. Two parts out of three parts. Now we are good on parts right now. Uh, on mech parts, that might, I mean. Um, the barracks for the mech warriors. Mm -hmm. Tank is still out of place, leaping. Uh, yep. You're definitely gonna get this one. Mech warrior training complete. You're definitely gonna get this one, and uh, then you are going to get. Waiting for orders. Let's start again. Initiative and remove one bar of stability damage when res reserving. Oh, nice. But yeah, that's too expensive. I mean, I could give you some guts. Which reduces the recall penalty, but we leave Waiting for it. Orders. We leave that as it is. Well, no, Shellshock, you got the sensor lock. Yes. Right. Training complete. So we have a second pilot with sensor lock. Yes, Medusa Commander. Medusa has just 400 points. Good to go. Glitch. At 3,000 points to spend, but we would need 6,000 for that. I mean, Guts will give you overheat threshold, sure. Training confirmed, Commander. You're in the Griffin, which overheated quite a lot few times. Uh, yes, the Behemoth, uh, you are in need of more XP for this one. Awesome. Okay, um, that means engineering, ship upgrades. I want the Habitat Pod B, which will take 900k and will take 20 days to Roger do. that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Uh, that we can get the Met Bay 2, actually. That will be awesome. And uh, that costs us quite a lot of money. So the hiring hall, I need at least two more Mech Warriors. Don't really have anything good here right away. So let's get let's get the cheap ones. So you hire accept. New mech warriors available. And yeah, sure, Lone Eagle, why not? New mech warriors available. That looks about right. And then we go to contracts in the command center. So we have one win where we need to travel. Which would take 23 days. We have two here which we can just go and fight for. Uh, for some money, I guess. Actually, I'll leave it like that. Clean out the mercs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, Lone Eagle goes here. And Cosmos goes over here. And we are gonna take with us the Shadowhawk for sure, which is... Mm, I don't know why this is not completely repaired up. 
Uh, let's take the griffin with you. Oh no, that's the centurion. Uh, yeah, you can take the centurion. Trebuchet we won't take with us. The general we won't take with us. Um, yeah, the rest is actually being built up right now. That's the griffin over there. Um, so yeah, we take the vindicator with glitch because that's the one with the PPC and yeah you're gonna get the black check for now sure looks about right looks about right ish I wish we could get a heavy mech or an assault mech even I will kill for an assault mech Really love to see an assault mech in my garage or in my, my mech bay. That would be so awesome. Scripter, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do st uh, celebration stream tonight? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna stream? Other mercenaries, but that's the nature of business. Restoration operations and the planet surface and the mercenaries have sent a single well-armed lance. When it is loaded then. There we go. Interface initiated. We're facing professionals, well armed and well dis and disciplined opposition. From this regions, we should start looking. Keep keep them off balance and be careful, Commander. Let's get this over with so we can go swimming. Really, you want to go swimming? Uh, you are in the Centurion. Uh, yeah, sure. Sprint up to the forest here. On my way. Nobody spotted. You sprint up over Position there. Confirmed. You sprint up over here. And Coordinates you received. Sprint up over here. Sure. Moving out. Nothing detected. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, sure. Sprint into here. No sweat. And we, we have got bad guys. Two. Two detected. You probably can just move over here. Yep, you can. On the move. And then you go brace. You probably shouldn't sprint. You probably also should just move over here. On my way. Then you can race as well, and you will actually sprint over here in the hopes for some Ten flanking four. shots with the AC5s. Hoo ya! Ah, I haven't even. Uh, I didn't check if I can change your names. Let's get fired up. There's work to do. Well, there's work to do. Yep. Move in. Awesome. Oh, a Shadowhawk! Ow, 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 ow. Well, not too bad. We had evasion up. And we I'm were taking in the a pounding, Commander. Not really. Okay, um, Cosmos. Waiting for orders. If you move over here, you have one evasive thingy, and but you have a no direct line of fire. Here, you will have a direct line of fire. Moving to position. Moving to position. 